Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb and wanted to show you on this video a tool that we use quite often for quite a few years. Uh, just a nice uh, simple tool from SEO Book, a rank a tracker, uh, which is just a Firefox extension which helps you uh, monitor fairly well your uh, uh, keywords for, for ranking and, and stuff like that. So uh, very quickly let's go in. So if you don't have it already, you can go to seobook.com or tools.seobook.com, uh, click on the tools, and uh, just go here to rank ch checker. You ha you're gonna have to um, register or sign in. You go install it and then refresh Firefox, and then you'll get this icon either on the bottom of your browser or on the top. So I'm gonna open it right now. If you click on it, um, you have the the simple simple uh, rank checker right here. So I'll just go over a few things and um, pretty straightforward. So actually I'm gonna step back a little bit, forgot one thing. Um, if you, before you open it, if you click on this down arrow, you'll be able to see the options. Um, and so the options don't have much. Uh, just to quickly go, uh, one is you specify on Google, Yahoo, Bing, where you want it to be, where you want it to check. So .com for US, .co, UK, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so right now what interests us just for this example is google.com uh, and of course it's very important to put the take off the personalized search so uh, you try to get the best results that you can also you want to make sure you're logged out if possible uh, um, and of course you know if you want Yahoo and Bing and uh, the last thing which we do is try to have some kind of delay um, let's say I, I'd say 30 or more seconds is a pretty good one uh, between queries because if you query Google too many times it'll know that, that some kind of application or program is running it and it's gonna not a uh, run correctly and keep on asking you for those captchas and uh, you just don't want to have it so you know give some time between queries so 30 seconds uh, is, is fine let's make it 31 okay um, so let's go back so we click and open the range checker very simply so um, all you really need to know is the domain you want to check and the keyword so if you want to just check one quick keyword at a time you'll type in the domain let's say um, repair.com and then the keyword let's say um, fossil watch repair okay and then just click add and you add it to the list here if you want to delete it you'll click on the X and you'll move on. So um, for the most part, you know, adding one at a time is a little slow. So if you want to add multiple at, at a time, you click on this add multiple keywords and put the domain in again totalwatchrepair.com and then just one keyword uh, phrase per line. So this, whoops, uh, so fossil watch repair and Let's say watch repair and then let's say Timex Iron Man watch repair. Okay, so then just click on add and it'll add to the main uh, uh, page, main, main area. Click on close and that's it. All you have to do is basically click on, on uh, sorry, click on start and we're good to go. So for some reason, the screen, okay, let's do maximize. You'll see it here on the bottom. So you have start. Uh, and that's it. Let's click on it in the meantime. So uh, now it's searching. So you see it found on Google.com. It found the result on page one, uh, ranking number eight. And now it's going to wait those 31 seconds between query and it's going to go next and next and then. So uh, in the meantime, I'll explain a few things till it finishes. It'll take about one minute, of course, for two more keywords. Um, so uh, what, what we like to do um, is uh, if you need to export it to a CSV or to Excel, for example, using a CSV, when this is completed, right now it's grayed out, you'll have this button on the bottom called Export Results to CSV. Very simple, uh, just gives you all of these columns, of so domain, keyword, Google.com or, or you know Yahoo or whatever, and of course the page that it found that was ranking first for that domain, which is very important uh, to know what page is ranking, if the relevant page is ranking for that keyword, very, very good. So um, that's something we like to do. Uh, and the other thing is, and once this finishes, I'll show it to you, um, is this. So now it finishes, it finish, you see um, this basically um, stop graying out. So you can click on the export, you know, save it, and then just open it very simply. 
Um, now what we'd like to do, if we like to keep on running the same terms, you'd like to, you should click on the Save button, and that'll save this kind of a, a profile or, or this kind of area. So let's call it uh, Sample uh, Test, okay? And we'll click on OK. So uh, if I want to clear everything and check something else, I'll just click on Clear. And yes, now if I want to reopen the same terms we just did, again, I'm going to click on the open button and then go to the bottom to sample test and click on open and we have it again. That's it. So if I want to run it again, I'll click on start and uh, save it every time for the new one and create new reports. So uh, that's pretty much pretty simple overview of it. It's a nice, nice tool. Uh, Aaron Wall, I believe, is, is the, the owner, the, the person that created the Rank Checker. Very nice. Thank you, Aaron. I've uh, been using it for, for quite a while. I don't know, probably a few years. And uh, it's very solid. It's free. Really, really appreciate it. And especially uh, some of your blog posts, very detailed, with a very different take on SEO in general and, and letting you kind of think more. So awesome blog. Thank you for the tool. And uh, if anyone has any questions with this tool or with Rank Tank Checkers in general, I'd be happy to answer any comments or you can contact me anytime. Thank you very much for listening to this video. I really appreciate it.